Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see a couple of ways to insert images into our spreadsheets. We'll start with the most simple method, using the Insert menu and selecting an image. There are several ways to get an image into your spreadsheet through this method. I'll go ahead and use Google Drive for this example. And search for Logo. We'll select the Digital Egghead logo and click the select button. Now the image is in my spreadsheet. Pretty simple. The image doesn't affect the cells at all. It just sits right on top of them. I can resize the image or move it wherever I want. This could be fine for lots of purposes, but what if I need the image to be attached to a specific cell? I can put this logo image in the cell for the logo row, but if I sort the data, it doesn't move with it. So let's look at another way of inserting images. I'll delete this image. And this time, we're going to use a function. This is the image function. For this, we need to have an image that is hosted somewhere so we can get the URL for it. We'll see why in a second. Let's start the function. And right away we can see that it's asking us for the URL of the image. I've got the Digital Egghead logo on the website. So I'll right click on that and choose copy image address. You can get the URL for your image by whatever means you have available to you. Now we'll go back to the spreadsheet and paste the URL into the function. For this value, we need to add quotation marks around the URL. For now, we can just ignore the other values and close the function. And now we have a logo inside this cell. If I filter the data, we can see how it moves along with the correct row. That's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the other values for this function. We'll start by copying it down the column. Then we'll go to the mode 2 row image cell and click into the function. Remove the bracket and replace it with a comma. Now it shows us that the next value we can enter is for the mode. There are four different modes. By default, if you don't put anything in there, the function assigns mode number 1, which resizes the image to fit inside the cell keeping its aspect ratio the way it's supposed to be. Meaning, whatever size you make the cell, your image will grow or shrink with its original aspect ratio to fit in that cell. Let's back out of this function and resize the first image cell to see how that works with mode 1. Now we can see how mode 1 keeps the image looking correct, but scales it to fit the cell. Let's go back to the mode 2 function. We'll enter the number 2 for the mode on this one and close the function. This one will make the image fill the cell, ignoring the image's aspect ratio. Let's change the size of this cell a bit. And we can see how the image stretches to fit the cell, no matter what shape it is. Okay, let's click into mode 3 and assign that mode. Mode 3 keeps the image at its original size. In this case, the image is much larger than the cell, so we are only able to see the center of it. 
If we make the cell bigger, the image is revealed, but it does not change size. Now let's click into mode 4. You may have noticed that there were two more values after the mode value. Those are for mode 4. This mode allows you to specify exactly what size the image is with the height and width. I'll enter 15 for the height and 250 for the width. And that's what it sizes the image to. If we change the cell shape, the image remains at the specified dimensions. And that's how you get images into your spreadsheet. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please share it with others, subscribe to the channel, and keep learning. I'll see you in another video.